Hey guys, Brohean here from the Gamers Emporium channel, and this is Davillion. Davillion is now live, and it's in the, the beta, so we're going to take a look, check out this game, and this is going to be my episode one of the Let's Play. So I'm going to start this off on something funny while I was preparing to set up this recording. <clears throat> you see this chick in the center here? Well, you see how she's moving kind of weird to begin with. It actually looks like her boobs are kind of like getting small and then big and then small and then big again. So, um, <laughs> in this screen, I can click off screen. So I'm just going to click on OBS here and it'll, it'll minimize it. So now it looks like it's, it's just standing still on your screen here. Now, when I come back in, watch this. This is hilarious. It's going so fast. It's going so fast. <laughs> All right, so let's get on with it. So this is the first screen you see in the beta. We're gonna go connect. And I still have to create a character. So we're gonna we're gonna take a look at character creation. See what each one of these are. So the first one looks like the invoker. Evoker, sorry, evoker. Um, looks like elementalist. Mage with unmatched mastery over the elements. Evoker strikes fear into entire armies. While she lacks in durability, she makes up a terrifying array of attacks and debuffs that stops foes from ever reaching her. See, I I always play... I usually always play as some kind of mage. So I'm kind of thinking in this kind of game I might try that. Because they always seem to be easier and I can get, you know, get shit done easier. But lately I've been playing a lot of melee, so that's kind of why I also want to go into something melee i read a lot about shadow hunter we'll, we'll look at him in order though the berserker ooh dual wield warrior gifted with unmeasurable strength and stamina the berserker tears through waves of enemies with his twin blades the longer he fights the more ferocious he grows using his rage to lay waste to anyone to anyone fool enough to oppose him to anyone to anyone fool enough to oppose him okay so there's there's a typo in the beta <clears throat> we'll have to uh you know mention that so um yeah i mean that's what that's what beta is all about right i mean checking out see what's wrong with the game before it before it actually uh, comes out so uh, look at shadow hunter shadow hunter lonely shadow hunter so lonely shadow hunter who's learned to draw upon the darkness Shadow Hunter prowls the night, stalking the most terrifying prey. Uses his chain whip, that's not Castlevania like or anything, and a variety of thrown weapons. Also, well, can't really call that Castlevania, but you throw things in Castlevania too. And uh, let's see, and a variety of thrown weapons to great effect, allowing him to fight effectively in every situation. So I've watched a lot of the alpha, and a lot of people play the Shadow Hunter, or sh yeah, Shadow Hunter. So I'm not probably not going to play shadow hunter i tend to go away from what everybody else is doing and um i don't know i don't like i don't want to be you know that guy that plays the same class that everybody does so that's just me cannoneer this one's interesting if i remember yep the little thing i don't know i mean i'm i'm okay with some anime but i don't think that i could play I mean, I don't know. I'm not big into anime, and this really strikes me as, like, an anime thing. I mean, she's got the one little horn there. I don't know if they... Do they all have horns? No, he doesn't have a horn. She doesn't have a horn. I mean, to me, that's just weird. And, uh, she's really small, really huge cannon. That's something, like, I feel like I would see in a cartoon. So, um, I mean, not that I'm knocking it or anything. I'm sure she's really powerful, says a sharp so she's ranged big time like sniper ranged sharpshooter with a weapon that pushes the boundaries of both magic and engineering the cannoneer lays waste to all who challenge her thanks to her weapons innovative selective fire systems she always has the right shot for the situation so it sounds really fun this actually sounds like something that i think spice wolf would play he'd probably either be a cannoneer or a shadow hunter and i would probably be that looks so much like castlevania it, but he would probably be either Shadow Hunter or Cannoneer. I'm either gonna pick um, Evoker or Berserker. I like boobs, to put it simple. So we're gonna pick um, the Evoker, just as a first character. So let's check out character creation here. Um, Devillian preview. Oh, that's right. Yeah, your Devillian is like your uh, 
I like to call it my uh, Diablo form. Because, well, this game's got a lot of similarities to Diablo from what I see. So, but you can apparently transform into your Davillion. And from what I heard, oh man. I'm a pervert. Ha, let's go back to the normal here. Apparently you level up your Davillion along with your regular class. So that's something interesting that I kind of want to, you know, get into and see. So, got different costumes here. That one looks kind of cool. Jeez. This game's all about the boob and the nudity. I mean, come on. Well, I suppose it was made in Korea, so... There is that. Alright, so let's see what we got here. I'm not going to spend too much time in character creation, so I'm kind of going to go through this a little bit quick. Probably stick with just the normal stuff. Let's see the skin tones. Dark chocolate. I don't know. I like me white. The lip color. Can you zoom? Can you, you can zoom. Sweet. Sure. Um, what do we get out of random? I, I like randoming for these, just to see some of the different things, different possibilities. Ew. Ew. <clears throat> Thing with random is they never look good. <laughs> well, at least to me. They never look perfect. You know what, we'll just stick with that. Sure. Alright, we're gonna name her the typical Rohi, and hopefully no one's taken that on me yet. <clears throat> oh, we gotta do a head, too. Let's see, random head. Looks kind of cool. Sure, random enough for me. Tattoos? We get for tattoos. It's all on the face. It, can you even change? I don't even think you can change the bodies in here. <clears throat> Everybody's skinny and has big boobs. Sure, we'll play with stars. Pupils. Wow, really? What is this? Really? Stars? Star people? Sure, we'll we'll make a theme out of it. We'll we'll make the theme stars. Great. <clears throat> I won't evoke her. Oh, the starting gear. I'm very naked. Yet again. Alright, let's connect. Let's see what happens. Pro cat. Where you at, bud? What are you doing? Being lazy. A lazy cat. Come here, it's not in English yet. Oh,ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、
for this and then you can also click the move so i could technically play one-handed with this mouse i learned to skill lightning lightning sphere and things are super easy to kill at level one Okay, it looks like you can't, like, it's not like Diablo where you can, like, click to attack, like, regular attack. Um, oh, spacebar is a dodge. That's cool, and what are you? Novice health potion? Okay. <clears throat> Eye for inventory, I'm assuming. It's pretty, uh... Pretty organized. C for character? No. B for um B for guild. Okay. Let's check in out what some of these buttons are. Okay, P is the character screen. Um probably gonna be changing a lot of these around, so it's kind of the same type as like any other MMO, you know, I for inventory, B for bag kind of thing, and C for character. Um, yeah. Probably change all these to shift. But we'll get to that later. There's no point in changing this stuff now. There's a little arrow that tells you where to go. That's kind of cool. Yes. Shouldn't have petted my cat. Now I got cat hair all over me. My allergies are going to act up. Grunt. So what do we do? We kite, we kite, because I'm afraid to get hit. If they're this easy to kill, I'm probably going to be easy to kill. It's kind of neat. Can't use this, yet. this little sprint thing makes me move faster. Not ready yet. Get out! He gonna fuck you up. <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like this attack doesn't cost mana. Oh, it's a builder. Oh, it is really like Diablo. It generates additional mana. So you have generators and spenders. Okay. Okay. See, I compa always compared this game to like... Basically to be like Rift... And Rift and Diablo, a Rift and Diablo mix, more or less. It's very straightforward. I don't know what that screen was, but B, no, C, B. Did I get that up? N, no. Map. J's quests. Skills. I got fireball now. So fireball is going to cost mana. Simultaneous targets. Where is fireball on here? I don't get it. Oh, maybe it's because it's just a basic skill. Okay. I don't know. We'll get more into that. Keep on keeping on. Ooh. Safe. I'm glad I'm safe too. What do you mean you don't need me? Look at that. Boy, he's ugly. Hm. <laughs> he went in the hole. Feel like you steer me. I'm sorry. I let my guard down. Too late. Mission attack the Pale Moon Sanctuary, destroy the Broken Siege weapons. <clears throat> I'm a fireball some shit. Oh! That's awesome. Just spend my mana, these guys. Gain it back. Almost another level already. Battle end. 
That'll start. Some terrible aim. Boom, level four? Holy shit, I didn't think I had that many. All right, for inventory, let's equip plain gloves. Cool. What is this? Marketplace. There's a marketplace. I think I'll probably cover that in the next video. I don't know how long I'm going to make these videos. Probably make them yeah, 20 minutes or so. So far, I'm hooked. So far, I'm hooked. Swiftly in the dimensional rift in five minutes. Don't know what that is. Fuck shit up. This is why I pick mages, because... That wasn't a teleport, that was a little fairy hop. Bam, you did. Put that on you. Okay, yeah. Click the move is definitely the better option, because a lot of times I'm finding myself holding on two different buttons, so, yeah. We'll play this for the most part one-handed. That's how we'll, that's what I'm about. Travel to the Inner Sanctum. So far, my thoughts, I think this is fucking awesome. It's been really fun <laughs> for the first, you know, ten minutes of gameplay. <clears throat> I can't complain at all. I mean, look at this. Just fucking stuff up, man. I love games when I feel super overpowered. What is this? Frostfield? Oh, it's a right click. Ah, okay. It's like got that Devil May Cry feel where like if you kill so many enemies you get like these bonuses where it tells you you're fucking awesome. I wonder if you can combo things. Like if you have something frozen and then you hit him with fire, it does extra damage. Or something of that sort, that would be really cool. So fun. Getting a variety of abilities right off the get-go. That must be one of my control abilities. The frost field. Finally lost a little bit of health. This guy is fucking badass, man. Is he a berserker? He must be. Man, I wish I would have made a berserker. Maybe I'll do some berserker gameplay. Make one of them quick and see what happens.
final door has opened. Boobs. I should do a boob counter for how many times they do like close-ups on boobs. If he had boobs, that would be one. Alright, some beta info. There you go. If you want to see more about the beta, go to www.davilliongame.com. It's going up until Tuesday, 10.27, 10 a.m. So, there you go. Oh, there's health bars. Oh, he's got two. I heard about this. He's got two health bars. There goes the first one. Bowling alley. They didn't give me any time to move out of that. Achievement. Pale moon staff. Let's see what we got. We got orange. I wonder what orange is. Itch on my back. Pale moon staff. Card level 5. Item level 9. I wonder if... Is that like epic quality or is that legendary quality or what? I got two things. Pale Moon Corset. Oh, really? The, you can zoom. Oh, that's cool. Just like in Diablo, you press Z to zoom in. Let's put you on. Put the staff. That's cool. This is where I would... If I was playing like this, you can play it kind of third person, which is really cool. That's kind of neat. Kind of neat. Alright guys, so I'm going to call the video there. And um, I'm going to get to the town and probably look around the town a little bit in the next video and play another quest. And then I'm going to do a video on um, the Berserker and see how the Berserker plays. And hopefully I'll have enough time to get through uh, most of you know all the characters in this beta. So... I'm just going to do like the, the beginning story mission that we just completed as each character and kind of get a feel for each one on how they play and we'll see what happens from there. So, all right. So if you guys have any questions about this game, again, you can visit tryonworlds.com or you can visit deviliangame.com and hopefully I see some of you guys, you know, in the in the beta here and I can play with you. So, that's something you're interested in just leave me a comment and we'll see what we can figure out all right so thanks again for watching like share subscribe comment whatever you got to do appreciate the support thanks guys